Well, I'm always entertained. Like, I, there's a lot of people coming on that I don't know about, so I'm, I find that charming. Um, no, I mean, you know, the, the, t in terms of the, the guest stars, I always look at the musical artists as the guest stars. I mean, you know, the thing about John that fits so great into the show is in the tradition, I think, of Kristen and Idina Menzel and Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, those are all people with back Broadway backgrounds. And, you know, John has been, I think, in three or four Broadway musicals, so he is a natural fit for our world. Um, so in terms of, you know, we're, we're um, I think a lot of people this season also, because of the back half of um, the season, thought the next season would be sort of bigger and brighter and more numbers. But actually, um, you know, Brad and Ian and I are sort of doing a different approach, which is because we had this tour and we saw how people just went nuts when the kids came out. and. Uh, we really feel a responsibility to write to the characters we have and sort of give them more moments to shine and sort of break it out for everybody. So I think the second season will be very rewarding because I think it's going to be more intimate, actually. And I'm excited about that. And then, you know, we're doing a Britney Spears episode <laughs> that Matt Morrison is so excited about. Uh, and and we're going to do we're going to do another big tribute show after the Super Bowl. We're sort of negotiating for that. Um, that's really all I can talk about right now. But, uh, but, but that's Thanks for doing a great show. Very kind. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, can you talk at all about Javier Bardem and what he might be playing? This well, question is actually from Leah. Yeah. Leah um, it was a very sweet thing because I'm doing this movie that comes out August 13th called uh, Eat, Pray, Love, and I was at an international <laughs> with Javier Bardem, who's in the movie with Julia Roberts, and I had not seen him, so I went up to, in months, and I went up to him and I said, you know, buddy, congratulations on your best actor at the con. He says, I do not want to talk about that. I want to talk about Glee. <laughs> <laughs> and he... Um, rented, and I didn't even send him the DVD, I would have, he rented the whole first season and watched them, and he said it was like crack to him. <laughs> and he loved it because he loved what the show was about, and he loved, he got the arts angle. And he said he would, would I write him a role? Um, and I said, well, what do you want to do? He goes, I want to be a Spanish rock and roll star. <laughs> so, I mean, if we don't know how we're going to do it, Ian is very excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> So the greatest actor. He's like the greatest living actor. He's so awesome. Like I told him on him. <laughs> so um, I'm going to see him more this week and sort of ask him exactly how he is going to do that. But yeah, we're thinking maybe the second half of the season. Very cool. Uh, another thing in the season finale that the fans were very excited about: um, a little couple people have been waiting for, Finn, Rachel. Is anyone excited? For Uh, Finchel. It just Finchel. sounds so delicious, doesn't it? Makes me want to eat a Winchel. It sounds like a, like a pastry. Yes! A Finchel. You should actually sell those because I would buy one for you. Uh, we've heard that they will be together this season. Um, Ryan, Leah, Corey, can you just talk about the pairing of Finn and Rachel, how you're feeling about them now, um, and are you too excited to play sort of a happy couple, assuming that Better say that's excited. Right? <laughs> yes, they are absolutely. He's really excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm really excited. I think it's I think it's so great. I think it's going to be interesting to see what Rachel is like in a relationship as uh, someone's girlfriend. Um, but, I don't know, Ryan, I don't know how long will you make this one last? <laughs> well, I think that sort of the joy of the show is that that's one of my favorite parts about it, is sort of those two that are so, so unlikely. And I like that they're both sort of the leaders of the club. And I'm really interested to see how, you know, they deal with the ups. It's, you know, it's almost like a metaphor for show business glee club. But I'm sort of interested, like, how does a couple like that, when they lose, do they fight about it? Does that bring them closer? Does that make them hate each other? Does it like make them love each other? I'm interested um, in that idea of a couple withstanding um, a lot of things over the course of the season. And I do think that people really like Leah and Corey together. Um, and I'm just really interested. I mean, I don't, Brad, me and Jeff right there. I'm interested in that idea. 
I mean, I'm actually, I mean, I think everybody loves Rachel, and I, she's young, and, I, and, and she's always pursued things. She's someone who, she says it herself, wants things too badly. Well, what happens when someone who wants things so badly gets things? And how do they handle that? And yeah. what kind of growing up do they have to do in order to have something as opposed to want something? I think she's really good at pursuing. Um, and so I'm very interested in sort of that part of it, and also in just sort of Finn having someone he's in a relationship with who's so uniquely challenging. <laughs> That's what you're hoping to put on your grades, too. Uh, your tombstone, right? Uniquely challenging. Um, Brad, you once said that you thought they were the core couple of the show. Do you still yeah. stand by that? I think so. I think so. It's because it's the, it's the mix of those two worlds, you know, and that's what we were always trying to do is sort of, you know, what's happening, you know, in the outside world and the people throwing slush and people getting slushy and what happens when, when those two worlds fall in love, you know, as opposed to just fight each other. So I think we have to keep pushing that relationship and exploring it because they're, they're a great metaphor and also these two actors are so good we can sort of have them do just about anything and, and, and they're